when. Hi, this is Ben Curl Girl, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on clipping the wings and toenails of a button quill. Galaxy is here to help me today. She really, really doesn't like this. And before I start this video, I want to say I don't find toenail clipping necessary. I find it just kind of. I don't know. I don't know why you would do it. I'll show you how, but it's really, it's kind of just a risk that's unnecessary. So I'm going to grab my scissors and the first thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure I'm holding, you want to hold the button curl right to do it. Shh, it's okay, Galaxy. Shush. Okay, perfect. Galaxy. And so his wings have been clipped before. And then what I like to do is turn it, turn them upside down so you can see there'll be shorter feathers. You don't want to get those. You want to just get the very outside. Okay, and beautiful. That will prevent that will prevent them from flying out of the cage when you open it and they like to smack into windows, so. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah. Button quail are very slippery. And uh, if your button quail loses a lot of feathers, don't worry because it's actually a defense. It's a natural, They that's how they slip out of your hands so easily. So we're gonna do the next wing. <laughs> Galaxy. He does not like this. I'm not sure why. Maybe he wants to fly. <laughs> but I don't want him to break his head. So. Okay, so there we go. The wings are all clipped. Now I'm going to do the nail. And I'm only going to do one nail. Because, just to show, because I don't really find this necessary. So, if you'll come a little closer, Matthew. So, you'll see the nail, if you're close enough. Sorry. Focus a little, please. Okay, good. Um, the black, there's a little white part at the end of his nail. You just want to clip off a tiny bit. And you'll see, his nail is now clipped. I'm not really sure why you'd want to do that, but there's probably a reason. Just make sure you do not get clipped too far or get the quick. It's the same on a dog. They'll start bleeding and foot and crawl obviously do not have a lot of blood. And so it's very dangerous if they do start bleeding. If they do start bleeding, there's powders that you can buy to stop that. But I would just use flour. Or you can use cayenne pepper, which is really good, but it's kind of painful. So flour probably works pretty well too. Anyway, thank you so much. And this was, um, I'll have to remember, I'll post in the description the person who requested this. Thank you so much. It's a great video idea. See you guys later.